Hello everyone, welcome to my digital painting once again and today as you can see I'm gonna paint uh, Leonardo as uh, one of the ninjas from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Team the movie is coming out in August 2014 and so I decided to draw him okay so basically he's a turtle, a green turtle, a greenish turtle um, and uh, I, I again I don't really like to draw a whole body so I decided to you know draw a close-up one where um, I I can actually focus more on the face and the texture the skin texture and all so um I, I can't really remember the whole time that I took in painting this I, I think it's about two hours or less yeah one and a half to two hours around there around there so um, as you can see um, I I start drawing uh, with color so it's not monochrome uh, which uh, I, I, I use prior in my previous paintings so this one is normal it's, it's my normal style normal technique I started off with the colors and then I use the level, the, the curve tool to adjust the color afterwards and then paint over again like for this one I increase the contrast increase the value range and then continue drawing so basically now the look is more of like um, he's, um, he's looking up as in, it's more of like he, he's in a tunnel, in the underground area where the enemies um, should be um, surrounded him and so he looks a bit you know, tired, tired looking around but at the same time he's ready for battle so his face is a bit more human like so that's why you know I, I can draw without reference I can, without much reference, I still use a reference because uh, he's still a turtle so um, yeah so for the eyes I also tend to use some human eyes texture the mouth the teeth is more or less like human so that's why um, it actually um, helped faster the process the drawing the painting process for me but I still edit the color of the lips afterwards because it looks too much like human so you know kind of look disgusting so I have to make him look more like a turtle so as you can see now the nose is also a bit wide and uh, by the way um, the, the four turtles have different looks have different looks it's like human you know everyone doesn't look the same the turtles as well um, so but anyway I choose Leonardo so his face is more like his face is quite big the nose is widened the mouth is a bit big as well compared to um, the other guy I would say the toughest part of drawing turtles like this will be the texture the skin texture and all um, especially when I do a close-up painting like this you know it's the skin of the turtle that you know I, I really and I don't think I did a good job you know I, I could do better than that but you know it, it, it is the technique that I didn't know how, how to go forward with it so you will see at the end of the video and um, what it turns out so now I'm doing the the mask I'm trying to make it look more like a cloth texture and all by adding you know some um, contrast some shadows highlights the mask and then I'll add a texture afterwards now I'm I'm doing the armor basically it's just the shoulder armor um, one shoulder because the other shoulder is should, supposed to be hidden and then the also the background and all 
like I said, it's supposed to be underground, so the light is not that, you know, that sharp. Basically, the light source coming from above. A very dim light source. Now I'm still more or less trying to um, add in the right value onto the body before I get into the texture. So now I'm doing the, the wrinkles in the head and I choose to first paint using um, white color followed by the black color basically to make it look you know skin like turtle skin like um, texture on the forehead which is quite tough you know, because Uh, from the reference that I have, I think it's the real skin that they use as the base of the of, of the skinhead. But this one I have to draw, so it will take a lot of time. You have to draw a skin which have like wrinkles all over every every single pixel. So this one, I'm trying to use brush texture brush to help me in doing that, which um still not perfect in my opinion now I come back to fix the mask adding some texture and then decrease the opacity and then go back and fix the forehead Later, I'll go on to fix the face, the shoulder, and all. Now, I'm fixing the eyes, adding some you know, reflection to make him look more realistic. And then change the saturation, the hue of the image because I kind of feel like it's it's too green, you know. I mean, I know in cartoon Ninja Turtle is supposed to be you know um, bright green, but I think you know to make it even look more realistic, so the skin is supposed to be a bit yellow because of the blood running uh, beneath the skin. You know, something like Green Hawk in Avengers, I think that that green tone is the right color. So I'm trying to imitate that color range onto the turtle body. Now I'm adding again the scratches, texture of the skin, trying to find the right brushes to help me do that. Painting over, trying to find what is good, what is bad. I think another good technique is, you know, to to, to paint anything, you know, whether it's metal, whether it's human skin, animal, or or landscape painting. You know, I think the best thing is to you know add the highlight add the highlight into the object you know, so what I did just now I put the highlight on the nose or the mouth it's just a white color just put it just tiny tiny if it's metal um, or metallic object you put a lot you know the bright light with um, you know shiny um, light but if it's skin like this still you still have to add in a bit so it looks more realistic
So now it's more or less coming to an end. Where I think that, you know, although if you zoom in, it won't look realistic at all. But for me, I, I start from a thumbnail. So if the thumbnail looks good, then I'm done with it. You know, as a certain, looking from a, cer a certain distance, you know, not going in, zoom in too much. Yep, and that's it. As you can see, I skip forward a bit, but it's just few minutes. Yep, thank you for watching.